This your boy Trucker Will. We're trucking it like always. Trying to make this money. Trying to make this dough. So, in this video, we're going to talk about the revenue for October. I did September before, so now we're going to do October. We're going to talk about it next on Trucking. Trucker Will. <music> So, you know, a little over two grand, $2,283, I believe is what I said. 
is not bad if you divide if you times that yeah. by 52 and you get that average that's a pretty piece of nice piece of change for the year if you're rocking it up so guys you know going around watching different youtube videos and just a constant conversation that i see and that i hear understand a few things right everything that people are talking about is their opinion whether you're a lease operator whether you're owner operator which is whether you look at your own authority those are all choices that you make. It's not saying that you're doing something wrong or you're doing something right. We're all out here trying to get the best. Everybody's like, oh, I'm making more money over here. I'm making more money over here. The grass is not always greener. Your money that you're making is not necessarily his money that he's making or she's making. Everybody's, you know, running around all over the place trying to find the best job. Because that's what we do. That's what truckers we do. We do a lot of this. Um, so, just be aware that when I'm talking to you, I want the best for you. Regardless, whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, whether you are whatever, I want the best for you. And I'm going to learn something, you're going to learn something. I am very aware that I can learn something in every day. Now, any business mind is a strategy that one puts into effect, into work, into going, into doing. And you have to have a definiteness of purpose of what you're trying to do. That's what you got to have, a definiteness of purpose. And when I'm out here and people are like, oh, you're just a company driver, a glorified company driver, am I? Or is that just your opinion? Or did I set the groundwork for something bigger or something better? Yes, you can go out here and get your own truck. Yes, you can do this. Yes, you can do all of that stuff. You can. But do you have the infrastructure in your business to handle the responsibilities of that truck? Because things are expensive. Breakdowns are not cheap. Tow bills are not cheap. Turbos are not cheap. Axle, brakes. Transmissions, all those things are not cheap. You also have that truck payment, unless you buy it outright, that truck payment while your truck is in the shop and you're making no revenue. Plus, if you have a trailer or a trailer rental fee, that fixed cost keeps going. So you got to keep it in mind. If you're not running and that truck's not turning, you are not earning. But you still have the expenses. So you have to, you have to make more to cover your expenses and then whatever's left over is what your profit. So... Going and get a truck, do I recommend it? Sure, if you're, if you're able, willing and able and ready to rock out, go ahead, do it. But for me, for me, I like having the consistency. Now, at Prime, our consistency is up and down and up and down and up and down. But that's the, the nature of the business, the nature. Average check of $2,200, I'll rock with that. Because if you go into a bank and you talk to a banker, the banker wants to see consistency. Wants to see, see a consistent amount of money going in and out of your bank. Consistency. So that, oh, you're just a company driver. You're just this, you're just that. Well, if you have the opportunity to buy your truck at the end and have an infrastructure that is impenetrable, are you dumb? Are you just playing the cards and playing chess, not checkers? You can run out here and blow all your money and be a consumer. Or you can stack your money, invest your money, and use somebody else's money to make you. It's all in the game. Everybody has it. Oh, go there, go there, go there, go there, go there. But is it the best way to go? consequences, the stress, the this, the that. You're going to have stress in everything and anything that you do. But the key is, is to have a consistency, a definiteness of purpose of what you want to do and what you're going to achieve and how you're going to achieve what you want. Do I want to buy trucks? Sure do. Do I want to stay consistent? Yes, I do. Do I want to have my own authority? If that's what's in the car. Everything is nothing and nothing is everything. You also got to remember, faith without works is death, but also works without faith. So, think about that, guys. Think about that.
you're not making no money, go to where you can make some money. They talk about, oh, you know, prime drivers this, prime drivers that, that's 65 miles an hour, oh, you make 72% of the road, and you're just da 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 I still make a check. Do I have a truck payment? Sure do. Is it a little bit more than normal? Yes, it is. Do I have fixed costs? Sure do. Do I pay for everything that when the truck breaks down? Yes, I do. I don't pay for the train. But at the end of the day, if I finish at least, I get a nice fat check in my bank account for $17,000, $18,000. And I can do whatever I want to do. Consistency. If I want to go buy a truck, why not buy a brand new truck, run it for 18, 19 months, and then I can take that truck wherever the hell I want to. That's a year. Okay, it's a brand new truck. I ordered it. I know everything about it. It's just the going out here and buying a truck from John's Joe side spot, and you know nothing about their truck. At least to sleep too late. in we wake up my early. business model right of my head, I'll know what's going early. on with the truck to make I, I ordered it, I, I ran it, I ran it the way that I wanted to, and I can take that truck wherever I want. But, if you take your 1400 say your truck payment is $1,100, we would say $1,000. That's four thousand dollars. You don't have that truck in the number. When the whole world grabs this concept, I promise the world is mostly progress. Perfection pursued. So, without the authority fees, without the insurance fees, without the having to deal with brokers and making sure your DOT inspections and this and that and the other, keep this in mind. A guy that buys his truck at prime. Pays his truck off in prime, only has the fixed cost of the insurance at prime, doesn't pay for the train. So that person that owns his truck at prime, and maybe he trains, he's making nine, eight, nine grand a week. He has no truck That's a shit ton of money. Why do you suppose like a three, four, five, six trucks? They make the money. Because they stuck to a plane and they're not a dead the grass is not always green out of the other side. You hear all this talk and all this chat. Have a vision, have a drive. Remember to be blessed, less stress, keep that left door closed. That right foot down. Only one to save guys. Like I always say, guys, I will see you on the blacktop. Safe trucking, like always. Enough. Best was tighten as the blood rush Can't see with my first two But you show open that third up And she know how to work it from seven up From the lowest one to the highest up Like every time she ride my dick My chakras go into alignment Deep breath, rest on me Good energy from your respiratory Silence, this is prayer